It's been, a very, it's been a very exciting past year for the treatment and management of diffuse large D cell lymphoma as many large clinical trials that have been anxiously awaited have uh, presented their results and we have newer treatments to bring earlier for patients in diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Uh, last year there was a study called the Polaric study which looked at a new drug called polituzumab vidotin which is in the class of drugs called an antibody drug conjugate. In essence it's an antibody with a toxin linked to it and so it tricks the cancer cell into bringing this toxin into the cell and concentrating it within the cancer cell while trying to avoid uh, side effects in uh, other parts of the body. And uh, a large clinical trial just was presented last year demonstrating that this uh, will likely be integrated into frontline management of diffuse large B cell lymphoma uh, and the FDA will likely approve this sometime in the next year. Diffuse large B cell lymphoma has had many frustrating clinical trials over the past 20 years. Uh, in the, since the 1970s, there was only one significant advance in diffuse large B cell lymphoma about 20 years ago, with a drug called rituximab being added to the standard chemo. And uh, as with the study I just mentioned, we're hopeful that some of these newer agents are going to help improve the cure rates in the untreated uh, setting so we have fewer patients who relapse and fewer patients who need to get some of these other more intensive therapies down the line. Clinical trials are always an option for patients with diffuse large B cell lymphoma, whether they've never had treatment or they've had many lines of treatment. Um, so, for example, an untreated patient might have access to a promising drug that works very well in relapsed patients and so is being investigated earlier in the treatment course. Um, but there also might be patients who don't have standard treatment options and that would also be a setting where somebody might consider a clinical trial. Clinical trials are extremely important because without them we wouldn't know how to actually manage diffuse large B cell lymphoma patients. So as a clinical researcher myself, I'm of course very grateful for patients over the past years and decades who have volunteered for studies and enrolled on studies so we can learn what works but also importantly what doesn't work in the management of diffuse large B cell lymphoma. So of course uh, patients who consider trials now and in the future are going to help us over the coming decades refine and improve our treatments. It's definitely a tough journey ahead with your frontline treatment, but trying to be optimistic as possible, knowing that most people are cured. I would also make sure that you have a good relationship and trust your treatment team uh, so that if the treatment works, um, that's great, and they continue to follow you, but also trust them in the event that the treatment doesn't work and they can help guide you through the next steps.